Hey everybody, welcome to this YouTube video on how to write a cover letter for a mechanical engineering job. The purpose of this video is guiding you through the writing process and telling you the do's and don'ts of each section included in a formal cover letter. The only difference with other tutorials is that I will give you hands-on information by writing the example letter on the spot. Within just 4 minutes I will write a cover letter example that is applicable to a mechanical engineering position. But before we start, let me summarize the top 5 keynotes. First off, use a cover letter format that includes a professional font and font size. Calibri, Arial and Times New Roman with a font size of 10 to 12 point size will do. Furthermore. Your letter should have a single space between each section of the letter. I'll show you more about that in a second. As for the second keynote, thoroughly read the job description and seek for keywords that are mentioned more than once. These usually have a high priority to the reader. Also, make sure you know to whom you are writing to. Do some research and find some similarities. If you can highlight these and relate it to the job description, your chances of getting the job increases. This theory is scientifically proven. Thirdly, understand the top 5 most important soft and hard skills for mechanical engineers. These include effective technical skills, the ability to work under pressure, problem solving, creativity and interpersonal skills. Let the reader know which qualifications and skills you possess, but provide context. Do not simply list them like in your resume, but substantiate them with proven examples numbers, percentages, or awards you've been granted. Fourthly, pay attention to the tone of voice in your business cover letter. Make sure it's confident, courteous, and sincere. For example, don't simply request an interview, but politely initiate an interview to further discuss a certain topic. At last, make sure to avoid spelling and grammar errors. Use the word spelling check, proofread your cover letter, and let someone else review it. Also, make sure you attach your resume and send it to the right person. Alright, these are the top 5 points of attention. If you have any questions so far, leave a comment down below. Now let's continue to writing the cover letter example. You can start listing your name, surname and your current position if you have one, followed by your address and contact information. Put the date between white lines and include the addressee's name, position and company information. The opening should be something like, Dear Mr. Davis or Greetings Mr. Davis, let me give you some valuable advice. Always know to whom you need to address your letter to. Avoid openings like, Dear Sir or Madam, Dear Hiring Manager, or To whom it may concern. It decreases the chance of getting the job. Do research on LinkedIn or check the company's About Us and Staff pages. Consider even calling the organization to find out the hiring manager's name and to show interest. In the introduction, you should grab the reader's attention by highlighting your fascination and expertise in mechanical engineering. Tell the hiring manager where you found the job and briefly summarize why this position appeals to you and how you would be a great fit for the role. In the second paragraph, you first have to introduce yourself and express your excitement to join the organization. Refer to news or topics about the organization that made you motivated to apply for this position. Then you briefly inform the reader about your experience and affinity with mechanical engineering. But remember to keep context to your story. That means give specific numbers and statistics to highlight your achievements. In the third paragraph, explain how you can help the organization achieve its goals by showcasing your relevant work experience, educational background and skill set. Highlight character traits and or specific work-related experiences that prove you are a good fit to the organization and role. And just like in the second paragraph, you have to quantify accomplishments. Provide examples and tell the reader the outcomes in numbers, percentages or recognition you received for your efforts. The conclusion should have a call to action. A simple, hope to hear from you soon, is too passive. Grab the reader's attention and show you are proactive by letting him or her specifically know what you want to further elaborate on. Make sure this is also the core message of your cover letter. Also, thank the reader for their time and consideration. At last, there are several ways for closing a professional cover letter. Either pick sincerely, regards or best regards followed by your name. Alright, so this cover letter has around 300 words. Formal cover letters usually have between 200 and 400 words, depending on how much experience you have. 
In this example I used 4 paragraphs, but 3 is also fine. Now on this screen you probably notice the cover and resume template pack. I would highly advise you to use a neat and professional looking template that matches your resume. In the description you can find the link that redirects you to various kinds of templates you can download. At last, I want to thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below so that I can help you out. Also, if this video was helpful, do not forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more related content. See you in my next video. Bye!